Today I'm going to be talking about Miyamoto Musashi in the Book of the Five Rings, The Path to Mastery and Enlightenment. Miyamoto Musashi, a legendary swordsman in feudal Japan, left an indelible mark on history through his unparalleled skill in combat and his philosophical treatise, The Book of the Five Rings. This exceptional work, comprised of five books, explores Musashi's insights into strategy, tactics, and mindset, not only for sword fighting, but also for life itself. Musashi's teachings emphasized the importance of self-discipline, adaptability, and the pursuit of inner harmony. So in this video, I'm going to explore the wisdom found within the Book of the Five Rings. But first, let's talk about Miyamoto Musashi's early life. Born in 1584, Miyamoto Musashi lived during a period of great unrest and warfare in Japan. He became a ronin, a masterless samurai who wandered throughout the countryside, engaging in countless duels to refine his techniques and understanding of combat. Musashi's encounters with various opponents and fighting styles honored his skills, leading him to become undefeated in over 60 duels. Following his illustrious but tumultuous life, Musashi retired from active fighting and focused on capturing his experiences in the Book of the Five Rings. Now once again, the Five Rings are Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, and Void. Now let's talk about the Earth Book. In the Earth Book, Musashi instructs us on the importance of grounding ourselves physically and mentally, emphasizing balance and stability. Just as the Earth remains firm, one must learn to stand their ground when faced with challenges. Musashi teaches his readers to cultivate an unshakable foundation from which to launch their actions. Moving on to the Water Book. Water, characterized by its fluidity and adaptability, teaches us to flow with the circumstances we face. Musashi emphasizes the need for flexibility and the ability to effortlessly adjust to ever-changing situations. This adaptability allows us to seize opportunities and overcome obstacles. Moving on to the Fire Book. Fire represents intensity and energy required to execute a decisive attack. Musashi emphasizes the importance of timing, exploiting openings, and striking with full force. He believes in embracing both aggression and calmlessness, allowing for fluid transitions between the two states. Moving on to the Wind Book. Wind embodies strategic thinking and observation. Musashi encourages us to sharpen our perception, develop intuition, and assess the enemy's weaknesses. By understanding our environment and our opponents, we can exploit their vulnerabilities effectively. And lastly, we come to the Void Book. The Void is the ultimate form of transcendence and philosophical enlightenment. Musashi guides us to empty our minds of distractions and attachments and preconceived notions. By reaching the state of emptiness, we connect with the essence of existence, enabling us to act intuitively and effortlessly. Now let's talk about applications beyond the sword. While Musashi primarily focused on strategy and swordsmanship, the Book of the Five Rings offers wisdom that extends far beyond the battlefield. These teachings can be applied to numerous areas of our lives, such as business, relationships, and personal development. Emphasis on adaptability, timing, and self-awareness are universal principles that can guide individuals in achieving success and fulfillment. So in conclusion, Miyamoto Musashi's remarkable journey from a wandering ronin to an undefeated swordsman and a philosopher left an enduring legacy. The Book of the Five Rings reflects Musashi's profound understanding of strategy, tactics, and the human mind. By studying Musashi's teachings, we gain insights into the importance of self-discipline, adaptability, and the pursuit of inner harmony. The wisdom encapsulated in the Book of the Five Rings serves as a guiding light for individuals seeking personal growth, mastery, and a deeper understanding of life itself. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, my friends.